Hi, this is going to be a quick Wireshark demo to see if there is unfiltered multicast propagating across the network. So multicast if not filtered, um, so if multicast traffic hits an unmanaged switch, that unmanaged switch is going to simply propagate that multicast traffic out of every port, uh, very much like it would treat uh, a broadcast packet. And this can very quickly flood a network. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to assume that there is unfiltered multicast traffic on the network. And simply by plugging into a port uh, on one of the switches and running Wireshark, it's going to uh, allow us to be able to capture this multicast traffic and just do a quick analysis to see how much traffic there actually is. So. Having my laptop plugged into a switch, I'm going to start Wireshark. And Wireshark is going to look at the various ports that I have. Uh, as you can see, there's already traffic existing on my RJ45 LAN port. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this. And what it's going to then do is it's then going to show all of the different traffic that I currently have on my network. Um, this includes unicast, multicast, as well as broadcast traffic. Um, the traffic is always going to start uh, to spool up if for some reason um, that you're not watching it simply scroll through. Uh, one can go to, um, to the go and auto scroll live capture. And I just turned it off. Let me turn it back on. So it's now simply scrolling. Uh, all of the new um, new captures, so it's staying at the bottom of the uh, of the captures. But instead of seeing everything, I specifically just want to see multicast traffic. So what I can do is I can apply a display filter here, and the display filter that I'm going to put in um, is eth.dst. So uh, the Ethernet destination contains so e.th.dst contains 01005e. So a broadcast packet that would hit a switch is going to have the destination address or destination MAC address that starts with a 01005e. So the prefix is going to be the 01005e. And I'll then hit enter and you'll now see that suddenly I'm only looking at multicast traffic it's no longer everything else so all of these here are multicast traffic packets I can example you know, click on this guy right here and you'll see that you know, this is um, the source is from an Apple device uh, its destination is a 01005e so this is multicast traffic um, to determine how much traffic there actually is, a very quick way of doing this is then going to statistics and looking at the I.O. graph. And here you'll see, uh, and you can add additional filters in there utilizing the same eth.dst contains uh, 01005e, and you will then have your respective filter that you can then filter upon. So as an example, here I'm showing only multicast traffic. So anything that is less than 100 is good. Um, 100 being 100 packets per second is good. Anything beyond 100 packets per second is a lot um, or an excessive amount and should be filtered. So depending upon the PLC or controller vendor, um, they, uh, the various devices are able to uh, accept and process uh, varying degrees of uh, packets per second. Uh, but if you think about it, a, an Ethernet switch is capable of processing about 2 million uh, packets per second, which is a whole heck of a lot more than any uh, automation device out there can, uh, can possibly tackle. So, do a look at the, the packets per second for multicast, and this is again a very easy way of assessing how much traffic or how much multicast traffic there is on the network. 
And if it's more than 100, look at a managed switch with IGMP snooping, which is a multicast filtering capability. And I hope this has been insightful and uh, beneficial. Have a great day.